Here we go, question eight. The functions f and g are defined as f of x is 2 plus ln x plus 3, for x both in equal to 0. g of x is ax squared, for all real values of x, where a is a positive constant. Given that g of f of e to the 4 minus 3 equals 9, find the value of a. Okay? Um, so we've got to think about um, what this is all about. Uh, g of f. Right, well let's let's work out what g of f kind of looks like. So um, g of f of e to the 4 minus 3. That is g of, well if you sub e to the 4 minus 3 into the function f, there it is, you get 2 plus n e to the 4 minus 3 plus 3. Okay, that's because it's, it's that order, isn't it? So that means sub it into f first. So inside this little bracket here, I've got 2 plus ln, well, e to the 4. And 2 plus ln e to the 4 is 6. And then e to the 4 is 4. So that's g of 6. Um, g of 6 is ax squared, so that's a times 6 squared. Oh, hang on, I've written that in all of it. So that's 36a. And the question told us that this was equal to 9. So 36a equals 9. Therefore, a is 9 over 36. a is a quarter. And there we go. We just kind of logically worked our way through it. That was quite a nice way of getting a is a quarter. Then, now this time, we didn't do this terribly well. Find an expression for the inverse function. For that. Okay? So in part two, an expression for the inverse of A. And then, oh, and notice this, this is three marks, and state the domain. And I think a few people missed that being there. So for three marks, that's, if there's only three marks, that must be one of the marks is for stating the domain of the inverse function. Right, so let's work our way through it. If f of x, oh no. If f of x is the thing that we've been given, then we're going to start, remember, by saying y equals 2 plus ln x plus 3. I'm going to rearrange this until it says to me x equals something. So we're going to take 2 away. We're going to then unpick the lock. <laughs> unpick the log. E to the y minus 2 is x plus 3, enter that. So x is e to the y minus 2 minus 3. But of course we've got to remember at the end of all of this stuff to swap our x's and y's back round again and say what the question wanted. So the question wants the inverse function of x is e to the x minus 2 take away 3. And we've got to give our answer with x in there at the end. Two marks, because the question said, and state the domain. Well, the easiest way of thinking about what the domain is going to be of this is remember the domain of uh, inverse is the same as the range of the original function. So the, the domain of this is the same as the range of the original one. This function here, if we think about... Uh, what would happen with 2 plus ln x plus 3? Um, what is what, what values do we get as, as our range of that function? Um, for x greater than or equal to 0, well hang on, that's, that's not just a complete function, is it? So if x is 0, this starts as 2 plus ln 3. And then as x increases, this increases. So the, the range of that is all the values bigger than 2 plus ln 3. Does that make sense? So the range of the original is that. So the domain has got to be uh, 2 plus ln 3. x greater than or equal to 2 plus ln 3. That was quite a sneaky mark shuffled in at the end of that. Remember, a domain has to be in terms of x 
a range has to be in terms of y or f of x or whatever you want to write it. Okay, I reckon that's quite a tough mark, just sneaked in at the end of it. Uh, and it's more equal to because the uh, this one said x could be equal to zero, and that would give us our two plus seven three as our Okay, part three says. Now part three was really tough for. Given that f of f of e to the n minus three is equal to the natural log of fifty three e squared, find the value of n. So I am going to I'm going to start with this, um, and I'm going to see what I can do to work my way through all of this stuff here. So um, f of f of e to the n minus three. Summing that in, this is f of if I put e to the n minus three into my original function, it becomes two plus the natural log of now it's the natural log of x plus three. So it's the natural log of this. Plus three. I'm going to put an extra bracket in there. That's gone bracket crazy, doesn't it? Okay. Now, if I unpick my brackets that are going on here, I've got e to the n minus three plus three. So that's e to the n. So actually, I've got ln e to the n. So this is f of two plus n equals ln fifty-three e squared. Are we happy that we've ended up with our 2 plus n in there? So we're going to sum it into the function f again. And this time it's going to say 2 plus the natural log of 2 plus n plus 3. Because remember it is x plus 3 that was inside that bracket. Equals ln 53 squared. So this time we've got 2 plus the natural log of 5 plus n, or n plus 5, in that bracket, equals the natural log of 53 e squared. Now I want to try and solve this log equation now, and you're going to need to do it carefully, because you, you know there's things you can't just do with these, you can't just divide through by log or anything crazy like that, we're going to, going to unpack this carefully. I don't reckon there's an awful lot I can do with that. I think now it's time to start working on the right hand side a little bit. Now the right hand side is natural log of 53 e squared. That's the natural log of 53 plus the natural log of e squared. Remember that's how, how logs work. And we notice the natural log of e squared, that's twice the natural log of e, so that's just 2. 2 plus ln 5 plus n is ln 53 plus 2. Well, that's brilliant, because we've now got 2 on both sides of the equation. So we could subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. We've now got natural log of something equals natural log of something. So 5 plus n must be equal to 53. So n must be equal to 48. And we've got that. And you see how carefully I worked my way through that one step at a time, really logically, not making any kind of dodgy moves along the way, and, and just keeping really organised, keeping really on track of what's going on. They did give you plenty of space to do it. It was a bit of a mess to, to try and mark your way through this. People went in all sorts of different directions. There are alternative routes through it, but that is what I would have done for that question. That's my answer.